right, Hinkley. Uh, you spent the bye week uh, by getting engaged, it sounds like. Congratulations, yeah, man. How was that? It, man. I mean, it's it was exciting. I'm just glad it's all over. It was it was it was stressful, you know, having to <laughs> keep a secret from her the entire week, and you know, trying to get family back and in, get family into town without her knowing. But uh, it was a, it was a, a success. I mean, she didn't say no, right? So that's good. She said yes. We should <laughs> yeah, point that out. Obviously, so that's yeah, it was awesome. good. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the Boise State game. You had three plays that really stuck out in this. First, a 10-yard rush. Yes, sir. So yeah, I mean, this was our it's more outside run game, right? We're just we're just trying to get to the outside. Um, the point in this play, obviously, we have Puka and Casa and all them outside right there, and they're they're all one for one out there. So it's a great look for this play, right? So my my job is to just get wide and just read their blocks. Um, honestly, when I got to the edge, right, just right here, all I saw was just blue, you know. And so I was thinking, like, I can I, I can just puncture this once I get past this uh, this edge defender right here. After watching the play, obviously, um, I thought maybe I could have pressed Puka's block a little longer and then could have just kept it on the outside. That probably would have been a house call. But this is one of those plays, I think it was one of my first few runs um, in the game. And it was just a matter of just trying to, I don't know, get the jitters out, but kind of get a, get a feel for it again, you know? So. And yeah. later, you would uh, set up things, especially on screen. So let's go to the first one. 48 yards yeah. to the house. This is one of the plays of the year. So yeah, so right here, this is our um, this is our outside screen off of our play action, and it was just a play, uh, a great uh, play call by Aaron. I mean, the O line got out there, you know, they they did all the the heavy lifting. You see them selling it really hard right here, and so I mean that's a great look as a running back, you know, as a runner that's <laughs> to have three, you know, towers right there right in front of you to block one guy, you know, and so it was just a matter. It was just my job just to you know read their blocks and and just to make people miss. And so our coach always talks to us um, about, you know, it's, it's our job to make the, the first guy that comes in contact with us miss. And so luckily I was able to do that. You know, he was over pursuing really hard and then. No, but look right here, pause it right there. You're not supposed to score right here. You're at the 25, <laughs> you're surrounded. Guys trailing you, still two in front of you. Granted, your guy's still blocking down the field, which is awesome. How do you score from here? <sighs> Man, I'm gonna be honest, this whole thing was a blur, but. <laughs> All, all I can think was just, just keep moving. I, I just remember it just still being up, and so I like, just keep moving. And from then on, instincts just kind of took over. I mean, these guys are all blocking their butts off. You see, um, you see, Koss and, and uh, Chase Roberts right up there. Just, you know, all they have to do is just get a, uh, you know, a hand on their guy, and I just had to, you know, get to the outside. Luckily, as I as I turned that that corner, I just saw it was blue field, and I just told myself it was a it was a race with this guy. But if I'm if I'm being real with you guys, I, I always tell everybody. Any of our running backs could have could have scored on this play, so yeah, I mean it was just all set up perfectly. And you've been here a couple of years. What did that moment mean to you to finally get in the end zone and in a big game where you guys really needed a win? I mean, yeah, I mean, it meant everything. I mean, all, all that mattered at that point was just just winning um, and trying to, and trying to get to a bowl game. And I think being able to give me another opportunity just to be able to play with our, our seniors, you know, and, and everybody again, and the fact that we all get to travel to a bowl game. I mean, that was something that was that was very motivating to me. So yeah, I mean. When it, when it came to just out there, it was just a matter of just going out there and doing exactly what the coach has been coaching us all week to do, so. That was a great play call. Aaron likes it so much, he goes back to it 29 yards again later to you. So yeah, I mean, it's the same exact play that we that, that we ran um, just four plays earlier. Um, again, another great play call by A-Rod. You see the rush, they rushed really hard, got upfield, and as you can see again, it's another, what, three, four, three, four, two. And just, I mean, those are great odds right there, you know, you got, like I said, these guys did all the heavy lifting, and then it was just a matter of just hitting that outside, setting up Clark's block right there. You know, he did a great job just getting his hands on him and, and blocking him inside, and just got to the outside. And then again, like I said, from the last play, you know, Arrow, um, I mean, Harvey always talks to us about, you know, making that first guy miss. So just had to you know, kind of tempo it, slow pace it, and try to get past this dude. And you refused to go out of bounds here. Yeah, I I, I'm not going to lie. That was, I low-key thought I did step out of bounds. I just kept running like I did. <laughs> so <laughs> luckily, I was still in bound and was able to, you know, get a few yards. Great block by Chase right there, you know. And so, yeah, it just it was awesome. <laughs> and now you have Utah Tech this week. It's senior day. It's going to be emotional. And you're trying to qualify for a bowl game. This is, a, this is an important okay. game. Oh, most, most definitely. I mean, like, again, like you said, it's, it's the last time you know, our seniors get to play on, on that field, you know, and so that's something that's really important to to every single one of us um, that, that's part of the program. So obviously you want to get out there and, and uh, you know, put on a show for the fans, but at the same time, you know, 
get, get to the bowl and have another chance to be able to play with these guys again. So. And then a big one with Stanford next week. Hinkley, thanks for the time, man. No, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys, man.